Hi you guys, it's Miss Neal from Chandler Athenaeum, and today I thought it would be really fun to do another read aloud. The book that I'm going to be reading to you today is really near and dear to my heart. This is probably one of my favorite books to read aloud because there's so many different characters and you can really put a kind of acting twist onto this. And it's called The Day That the Crayons Quit by Drew DeWalt. So as I read this, I'm going to try to be a little silly. Um, I used to read this to my preschoolers and they would die laughing. So I hope I can get you guys giggling. One day in class, Duncan went out to take his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Look at the details in these pictures, you guys. This book is really fun. I hope you've already read this book too. And if this is your first time, I hope you really like this one. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats, but it makes me so crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend. Purple crayon. This is my favorite drawing out of the entire book. Purple is my favorite color, so it's really cool. Also, who colors outside the lines? Who colors inside the lines? <laughs> Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige and I am proud. And I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and we. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Look how sad he looks. Do you guys use your beige crayon a lot? <laughs> Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after holding one of those things. Ugh. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know, and so are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while? Please give me a break. Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even knew I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in the empty space between other things. And it leaves me, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Are you guys able to find the white crayon on that page? Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which they think that they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. I think that 
polka dot suit is adorable. Dear Duncan, as Green Cran, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and I wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends Yellow Cran and Orange Cran, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crans feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Cran. Dear Duncan, Yellow Cran here. I need you to tell Orange Cran that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking and I can prove it. I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you're forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. And here comes orange crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you, that big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color a sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Now you guys, if this was ever having a problem with your friends on figuring out who wants to be a team captain or who wants to be a leader in the game, I feel like you guys would be able to solve those problems way better than Orange and Yellow Cram did. Here's Blue. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I've really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break, your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Look how small he is. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your sister I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or even a cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. And you guys, Duncan's sister is little, so do you think she did a good job coloring inside the lines? This one's very, very silly. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Cran. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and I'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your friend, Peach Cran. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. So that gave him an idea. Duncan showed his teacher his new picture and she gave him, gave him an A for coloring. I'm gonna put this up real close and hopefully you guys are paying attention when the crayons were complaining. What did Duncan do to help his friends the crayons out? Remember how purple 
didn't like being outside the lines. Look at that purple dragon. Look how well it's been colored in. Or what about pink? Is pink a dinosaur now? These are all super, super cool, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this book. I will soon be reading the next book of this series, and it's called The Day That the Crayons Came Home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.